seen this thing on for years. What was it on for? And then it turned off just as I got here. This guy. This one's bright. <laughs> yeah, it's my aura. That's what it is. <laughs> Welcome back to the Surfrunt channel. Notes to future self. It's been a while since I've put out one of these videos, but I think it's time to start documenting my training for my next race, which is now 13 weeks away in January. It'll be my longest run race that I've ever done. And I am now, yeah, wrapping up week seven of a total of 20 weeks of training. So, it's a beautiful day today. It's the last day doing like a five mile easy run. Pretty sore today because I went back. Uh, I started doing cross training again. And on Friday, which is two days ago, we did a single leg barbell reverse lunges. <laughs> and not having done something like that for months. Yeah, my legs are angry at me today. Not it has nothing to do with yesterday's long run. Yesterday I ran 11 miles. And I feel fine from that. It's just getting back into the cross training, getting back into cross training that is causing the pain. But that's just what happens when you don't cross train for a couple of months and you go back into it. You know, that's, I've done this so many times. Uh, I already know it's gonna be, this, there's gonna be some pain for the next few weeks as my body gets used to uh, using weights and all these different routines that we do at Bear Down for cross training. So yeah, wrapping up this week. So real quick, um, my training for this race, which again is the San Diego 50 miler, 
in January, which is apparently a very perfect beginner friendly 50 mile race because it's lot doesn't have a lot of elevation change. Um, it's local to where I live, just down the highway here. Uh, and it's in January when the weather should be ideal. So it seems like uh, just the, the right race for me. And I'm locked in, I registered last week, so I'm all in. And so yeah, I've completed the first four weeks of my training, which by the way, I was at level zero fitness. So when I started base training, I did Good four job, weeks Rick. of base Keep training. And that was weekly mileage was 20 to 30 miles a week, no cross training, just getting back into those easy short runs. Then the next four weeks, I ended up going into base phase two, which again is another four weeks, but my weekly volume went 30 to 40 miles per week. And I put cross training back into the, onto the calendar, into the schedule. Uh, and that's where I'm at now, again, wrapping up week seven. So at the end of the next week, I'll have wrapped up the first eight weeks of just base training. And I go into a four week build phase and that four week of build phase, my weekly volume once again goes up between 40 to 50 miles per week. And I'm gonna start putting a swim into or onto the schedule. Um, then after that four weeks, so now I'm 12 weeks into racing or uh, 12 weeks into training. And then I go into build two, which is four weeks where my volume once again goes up 50 to 70 miles per week. Then that leaves me with four weeks left to race day. So those next two weeks is all about uh, peak fitness where my long runs are long and my efforts are hard and I'm doing race course specific workouts for two weeks. That'll be my peak. Then with just two weeks left to go, 18 through 20 weeks uh, is taper week. So I just taper down and bring all my volume bring the volume down, keep the uh, level of effort still up, but keep the volume will be like cut in half. So that's basically my training. Uh, very simple. It's a lot easier to train for a, for an ultra marathon than it is for an Ironman, I'll tell you that. So I'm looking forward to this training actually. I'm already having a, a good time. I'm making this an adventure. You know, this is gonna be the longest run I've ever run. I've done 50 Ks before. So this is gonna be a, a challenge I'm, I'm looking for and it's going to be an awesome adventure, just running distances I've never run, uh, locations that I've never been. So really looking forward to it. And so far I'm feeling pretty good. Although yes, I, I did come a, a, from level zero fitness. I hadn't really done much training between my marathon over the summer in June and starting this training in late August. So I, I was almost yeah, a couple of months of not doing much. So I've got a quite the steep hill to climb to get my fitness back up to where I want it to be for January. All right, hope you're liking these videos. I'll try and keep putting these out again a bit more regularly. Um, Cause I will, I'll be honest, I do enjoy recording these videos and recording my experiences and documenting what I'm, what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling and where I'm at. Uh, I like to be a documentarian of what I do and what I love to do. And I hope that if you're training, or even if you're not training for a race, that you're out there, you're having fun, you're staying fit, you're staying healthy. See you next time. Surf Run Channel out.